everyone in this video i'm going to be showing you how i cleanse and clarify my scalp with the bentonite clay air mask i like to clarify my scalp once every month this has been working pretty well for my hair and i thought i should share this with you and i hope you enjoy this video <music> Before this video I'd like to say thank you to all my wonderful subscribers thank you so much for tuning in and if you're watching me for the first time you haven't clicked that subscribe button please go on and click that subscribe button to be notified each time we upload a new video please go on and hit that bell icon down below so here I'm trying to unravel my hair my hair has been like this since last night so I did hot oil treatments using the neem oil so right now i'm just trying to finger detangle my hair this is going to make washing a lot more easier for me after i'm done detangling my hair i will begin to saturate my hair with water i will recommend washing your hair before um, applying the bentonite clay after i'm done saturating my hair with water i will begin to wash my hair with a black soap shampoo if you've been following me on my channel you will know that I make my shampoo all by myself and this has been working really well for my hair and I don't intend to change any other shampoo this is what I'm going to stick to so I'm just going to be massaging this shampoo on my hair until my hair is well clean so guys I did the first wash and my hair was so so dirty and I'm going to do a second wash because I realized that my hair isn't clean enough so I'm going for the second wash right now. I will apply the shampoo again and begin to uh, massage my hair, getting rid of the product buildup. And I wasn't satisfied using my hands alone. And I'm going to go on and use my scalp massager to massage my scalp. This will help to stimulate hair growth. And once I'm done, I'll go on and rinse my hair with a lukewarm water. So now that I'm done rinsing my hair with water, it is now time to apply the bentonite clay to my hair. But before applying the clay to my hair, in case there is anybody out there watching and you don't know what bentonite clay is, I'm going to be explaining in brief. It cleanses and clarifies, soothes scalp problems, conditions the hair, improves air elasticity, reduces frizz, reduces dryness, and it aids in detangling. So guys, for this mixture, I'm only going to be using two items. I'm going to be using apple cider vinegar and olive oil. You can decide to add some essential oil if you want to. So guys, this is how it works. When mixing bentonite clay, do not use any metal utensils. Don't mix with a metal spoon. After mixing it, do not store in a metal container. And when it comes in contact with metal, it tends to lose its properties. Because the bentonite clay has a strong negative charge. So be mindful of that. If you want it to be more effective, do not mix with any metals. You can use any wooden or maybe plastic spoon to mix it. So as you can see now, I've just added everything all up. And now I'm adding a bit of water. This is because I think that um, the apple cider vinegar might be too strong for my hair. So you can decide to uh, mix it up with water. You can add um, some essential oil of your choice. And you have to be very careful when adding some essential oil because you don't want too much of it. So I'm just going to mix this all up to a nice creamy consistency. And I don't want this to be too watery. I'm just going to mix it all up until it is all nice and smooth. So this is the consistency you want. So nice and creamy because you don't want to apply it to your hair and find out that it's dripping all over your body. And here in this video, I forgot to change my top. <laughs> Please, uh, it's a little bit messy. You want to make sure you change your top. Uh, just wear something you don't really care about when applying this hair mask. So I'm just going to make sure that it's all saturated all over my hair. And I'm going to keep it on for about 15 minutes. I think I waited for about 15 minutes before rinsing it out. 
um, it is best to um, wash your hair um, shampoo your hair before applying this mask in order to get a nice um, result okay because you don't want to alter um, the effectiveness of the mask you want the air mask to go into your air strands and do a good job so right now my hair is well saturated with a hair mask and i'll just wait for 15 minutes and this is how it looks after 15 minutes i've just gone to rinse it out and this is a closer look of how my hair feels so soft and the coils are popping as you can see and my hair is very clean and lovely so soft you know so guys normally after applying this air mask i love to do a moisturizing deep treatment mask but i don't think i'll be doing that today i'm fine with the result so guys we've come to the end of this video thank you so much for um watching this video and i will see you all in my next video bye